Hey guys. Painting a Humvee is not easy, um, especially because I'm working on my truck piecemeal, which means I have many sub projects going on. Um, for example, the bed, the missile tube holder, uh, jerry cans, the interior, the doors, uh, and all of that happens at different times. So I would be painting it um, piecemeal, bit by bit. It doesn't help that my truck is camo. So that means um, every time I paint something, it needs to be three different colors, right? So anyways, I still have to do my rear curtain and the roof. Once I do that, I'll be able to, uh, you know, paint that as well. And um, I also have to paint my hood. Uh, the hood needs a little fiberglass work. Anyway, so the videos that I make for paint are going to be uh, multiple, maybe three or four. So this one's part one. In this part, I'll be doing the ammo cans, bed liner with Herculiner spray, jerry can holders, and green camo touch-ups. What I'm doing is I'll be bolting this can holder to the truck and then bolting these 50 cal boxes to this to the truck right through and through. So what I'm doing here is trying to find the right spot to bolt them through. I think that should be good. One there. That should be good. One there. Look at how nicely it came out. Painted so nice. Anyways, I wanted to show you how it looks on the inside. What I did here is I bolted each of the cans. See, this is number three, number two, number one. I bolted each of these with carriage bolts on the inside all the way through the holder and into the truck. So this is not going anywhere. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. You can see the texture forming a little bit as it dries. So that's a uh, Hercule liner. I don't know if it's called Raptor liner in other places, but it's a uh, truck bed liner. I got this from Walmart. It's about 10 bucks. 
seems pretty good. It's a bit glossy right now, but as it dries, it gets uh, a little more matte in texture and less shiny. I'm just going to have a look and see if uh, I missed any spots. Now I'm wondering if I should paint the sides as well. Not too sure. Uh, let's see. So I did the bed coating, bed liner, and I also painted the sides with roll-on paint. Now, I'm painting part of the sides where the green camo is and also the C pillar. So I painted these patches, green, green, green. Look how beautifully it's blending, even the back here. So the rest of it, I will be spray painting the brown and the black. I have spray cans for that. Also, the sides have dried up. See how beautifully they, they dried, nice and matte this side too. So this is looking really good. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. All right, let's move on to other things. These are canister holders for diesel cans for my Humvee. They're pretty dirty. I had to actually wash them off. So they're dry now. And um, I have scraped off the paint that was flaking and there's a bit of rust over here so let me sand it a little bit with a sanding sponge and then I'll hit it with some protective enamel.
not about jerry cans these are the jerry can holders that come with the humvee and um, usually other military vehicles as well now people usually go out and buy this can which you find very easily on ebay or amazon and uh, this is the wrong can the reason being that uh, if you look closely it has a ridge on the outside right and that ridge does not fit in the jerry can holder so the right jerry can to get would actually be this one if you look at the base it's exactly a 14 by six and a half and it's the same shape and it doesn't have a ridge on the side so this is the right jerry can to get these are the jerry cans i'm talking about